right there, Latin 1. Here we go, chapter 27, the final chapter that's not a review. Uh, so let's go over the, uh, the glossary. That's a little bit different because it gives you a bunch of English uh, explanation of how things work at the races. And then in parentheses and in bold, they give you uh, some of the words. So we'll just go through them as we see them. Uh, Ludicircenses. This is literally the circular games. It's chariot racing. Okay, they're terrible at naming things. Uh, Kirkus Maximus, which just means big circle. Uh, I've got a wonderful picture of it, actually, I took uh, last summer when I was in Rome. I uh, kind of wanted to go out there and walk on it, but didn't have time. Uh, curriculum. That's a racetrack. And if you think about what you have to do, it's a curriculum. It's the course you have to run. Uh, it really just means uh, the small circle, which is inside the big circle. Now, uh, the Romans had holidays, which were called feriae, and they're always plural. Uh, so that's holiday. And if you're celebrating a holiday, then it's an adjective. You're actually considered feriatus aum, uh, and that means uh, celebrating a holiday. Um, there's a barrier that goes up and down the middle of the uh, great circle called the spina. It's where we get the word spine, spina, spinae. Um, and then uh, the chariots themselves are called quadrigae, uh, and this is because they are four horsepower. Uh, the next one that we see is the turning post, which is the meta. Now, the plural of that would be metai, right? Uh, and then uh, the emperor, also known as the kaisar, talk about power. His name becomes the word for emperor in like four different languages and uh, across three different language groups. Uh, he would drop the signal, uh, which is called the signum, which is where we get the word signal from. Uh, and it was a white cloth. So if you ever watch 1950s movies, you see, um, like, you know, the, the two guys have to solve their problems by racing cars for some reason. Um, a woman would be out there with, like, a hanky, and she'd let it drop, and that's when they'd go. And that's called a mapa mapai. Uh, so um, you have a faction or a company uh, and often they're politically supported, which is weird uh, until you look at NASCAR. Um, but you had a company of racers called a factio, factionis. And that's, uh, I think, feminine, actually. Um, and they were divided into four colors. Okay, there the, are the reds, the whites, the greens, and the blues. The rusati, that's where we get russet from, like the potatoes. So rusatus aum, albatus aum, that's albacortuna, uh, alban. Um, alabaster, uh, that's white. Uh, the prasinus aum, that's uh, green. I got nothing, but I think parsley when I see that word. And then venetus aum, and I think there's a word that means blue, but I don't remember what it is. Um, that comes off of that. And so you would give your support to the team that you like the most by wearing their color. So it's nothing different. Faweo uh, faweire, fawi fautum. Um, and that is to give favor to, so it will take a dative. Uh, so then at the bottom of, the set of this page, you see the word mulier mulieris, and this means a woman. A femina is a lady, a uh, mulier is a woman. So you've got homo and mulier, you've got femina and weir. Turn the page, and yes, faweo faweri fawi fauturum, and it means to give favor to. So don't say to support, cross that out. Then on the next page, de huerto, de huertura, de huerti, de huersum. Obviously, this is where we get divert from, right? It's huerto, huertura, which is to turn, and then de, which is to turn away from, uh, to turn aside. Humi, this comes from humus, humus, which is a fourth. Um, if I recall correctly, it's a fourth. Uh, and it means ground. It's actually where we get the idea for the second layer of uh, soil where it's really, really fertile called the hummus or the humus. Uh, it's not the same as garbanzo beans. That's different. Uh, and then winko, winkro, wiki, wiktum. We've seen that one when we were talking about Hannibal. Uh, turn the page, and that, I believe, is it as far as your vocabulary for this particular chapter. Oh, take it back. Page 256. Factio, factionis. Feminine. I did mention that, but I just wanted you to see it. Okay? Uh, and then on the page 257 there's a whole lesson about compound verbs i will take you through that in another video so that takes care of all of your vocab uh what i want you to do right now is do word study seven which starts on page 259 do exercises one through five 
write things out. Don't just like write in little answers, you know better. Uh, and uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Okay? All right, I'm gonna hit the button.